Eric Troy here from Green Dragon Technology. So in my last video I covered Sea Cleaner. Uh, sea Cleaner is a maintenance program made by the folks at Pureform and today I'm going to cover another one of their products called Defragler. Uh, so a lot of people ask uh, what is defragmenting your hard drive? Why should I do it? Uh, does it really speed up your system? Uh, generally yes it sure does. So most hard drives have spinning platters with data stored in different places around the platter. So when your computer writes data to your drive, it does so in blocks that are ordered sequentially from one side of the driver's platter to the other. Fragmentation also happens when those files get split between blocks that are far away from each other. Defragmentation puts those blocks back in sequential order so your drive head doesn't have to run around the entire platter trying to read a single file. So when should you defragment your hard drive? Well, fragmentation doesn't cause your computer to slow down as much as it used to, at least not until it's very fragmented. But put simply, the answer is yes, you should still defragment your computer. However, your computer may already be doing this automatically. If you're running Windows 7, 8, or 10, you probably don't need to do this anyways because it's already set in the system scheduler. But I still recommend you do this at least once a month anyways, just in case it was accidentally turned off or something. If you're running an SSD hard drive or a solid state drive in your system, you don't need to defragment it at all. Solid state drives, unlike regular hard drives, don't use a spinning platter to store data, and it doesn't take any extra time to read the different parts of the drive, so defragmentation won't offer any performance increase, although SSD hard drives do require their own maintenance, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So if you're running Windows 7 or 8, just click on Start, go to Run, and type in Defragment. If you're running Windows 10, just click on Start, Type in defragment, like so. You'll see defragment and optimized drives. Now I've got a couple of SSD hard drives in my computer, and I see it's already running. Uh, it's on a schedule, and so I just want to make sure that it actually is running. Sometimes uh, a virus or something might turn off, or you may have turned it off accidentally. Um, also, what you can do is click on change settings if you want to change the schedule here. So by default, it's set to weekly, but we can change that to daily or monthly as well. So moving on, um, in Windows, I don't really feel like it does the best job of defragmenting. Um, and that's why I use Defragler. Uh, so what you can do is open up your browser, go to defragler.com. Okay, and uh, so you can get the, the free version here. Free download. I recommend downloading directly from Pureform's website and click on start, start download. Actually, it's going to go ahead and start downloading automatically. So to run Defragler, just double click on the desktop icon since you just installed it. If you already have it installed like I do, you can go to Start, go to All Apps, go down to the D's, Defragler, hit Yes. So this shows me my current drive. Now I can select multiple drives if I have multiple drives. Most people only have one, but you can select any of them you like. And it shows you which files are out of place here, and so we can just give them a quick alignment here. So uh, if you have a regular hard drive, just click on the defrag button here at the bottom. Mine says optimized because I have SSDs. So you can do a quick defrag, and that'll just do a quick alignment here. The, the regular defrag, uh, it'll take substantially longer, it'll probably take overnight to do this, uh, but it does a better job anyways. So you can click on defrag. Now it's giving me a warning because I've got a solid state drive. Uh, it's going to reduce the lifetime of my drive. So I'm going to hit no on this. You should not do this if you have an SSD. But again, with the regular hard drive, go ahead and hit defrag or quick defrag. Once it gets started, though, you can go to settings and you click on close program after defrag or even shut down after defrag, which is pretty nice. Now for SSDs, it works similarly. With an SSD manually running and optimized to a drive could be very useful sometimes. For example, you just deleted a large chunk of data from your drive. Running optimized can immediately reclaim that space back and improve the SSD performance. It's especially useful on drives that are nearly full. So if I want to see which files are actually uh, fragmented right now, I can click on the Analyze button. It'll scan my drive and tell me exactly which files are out of alignment right now. So now I can click on View Files, which takes me to the same place here as the file list. It shows me all the different files that are fragmented. I'm not going to worry about the search option here. It doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, drive map gives me, uh, it, it shows me what these different blocks are and what the colors represent here. 
under health, this shows me uh, what type of drive I have and the status of it, if it's in good health or not, and just all kinds of other information here that I don't really need. And statistics shows me how much has been analyzed and optimized this month. And we can even go back to today, this week, this month, this year, or all. It shows me a complete history of everything that's been done to my drives. So I hope that helps you out. Stay tuned next time. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.